All right, it's Joe with your last part of your vertical jump explosive training series for the week. Now this is an important concept. This is how we train a lot of our explosiveness. We like to use something called post-activation potentiation. I'm gonna put a link to a complete article that was up on my site about two years ago that explains the concept. Hopefully long-term viewers have already heard about it and read it and implemented it in your own training programs. But if you haven't, here's how it works. You're doing exercise, such as a squat. The theory is, or a couple reps, like one to three reps, and that activates your muscles because you're putting your body under a lot of load. So those lazy muscle fibers that like to sit around now have to be activated. You instantly superset that with one to three jumps in the same plane of motion as in the loaded exercise. So we'd squat and then we'd vertical jump. So to use post-activation potentiation, squat one to three reps, immediately go into your jumps for one to three reps. You'll see a slight increase in your jumps because your muscles are warmed up from the squat, ready to go. This does not work if you go to fatigue. This does not work if you do high reps. So listen to the set and rep scheme and don't bastardize it by doing something like 10 reps of squat and then 10 jumps, your legs will be gassed. That's not the point. We want to work the energy system that's most closely related to explosive power when we're doing our jumps. What do you guys want next week? Core training or conditioning? Some people commented on the last video. Make sure you comment below on what you want. Thanks for watching. Set up, they come down and they, you know, they really poise, them, poise themselves and try to jump. That elasticity of your muscles kind of dissipates. What you need to concentrate on